Well, hey gang, how you doing? This is Will Moore, your host with what Somewhere in America once again. And guys, I'm telling you, I'm looking around in my studio and my in-home studio is a hot mess. Um, I really got to clean it up. But the reason why it is is because I haven't actually been here. I have been busy, 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 busy with shooting weddings. So here is my photography tip for you guys on what you should do when you shoot weddings. So you know what, let's get to the computer and I'm going to show you some images and I'm going to talk about a little bit about it and show you exactly what I do and what you should be thinking about when you shoot weddings. Here we go. Point one, the bride and the groom are always the stars. Guys, you got to remember that one thing I have learned is that this wedding is about the bride and the groom. It is not about their friends. It's not about Uncle Jimmy. It's not about anybody else. Never allow anybody else to upstage the bride and the groom at their own wedding. They are the stars and you must remember that. Point number two, really get to know your bride and the groom. I found out that my bride and my groom were gamers, so what I did is that I took a PlayStation game controller and incorporated that with their ring shots. It's gonna be really surprised. I thought it was a neat thing to do. And it also makes it really more personable. So that's what I liked about it. Number three, look for candid moments that'll make them laugh and remember. In this particular image right here, this is her with her sister, who is her maid of honor. And they were laughing and kicking it up about some things. I caught also too that they were looking up at his dad as he was taking a picture of them. And she was actually laughing because a bee was buzzing around her during the ceremony. Number four, it's not your day, so don't treat it like a photo shoot or fashion week. This is not a photo shoot or fashion week, guys. This is not one of your studio shoots. This is a wedding. Be respectful of that point, please. Number five, choose your compliments carefully. She's not the bomb diggity, she's not hot, she's not sizzling, none of those things. The words you should be using is that you're amazing, you look wonderful, you look really, really nice, you look great. I'm so glad to be photographing you. You're gonna do wonderful. Always be reassuring the bride because this is her day. Number six, communicate with your bride and the groom throughout the day. My fellow photographer Scott was doing that. He made sure that the bride knew exactly what was going on throughout the whole day. And that made her, that put her and him at ease. Number seven, pay attention to details and the details. What I mean by details and the details, the details is like this right here. This is the marriage vows that she wrote towards to Tom. This is their room numbers. They might want to remember those little things. Also, um, I called images of him reading his vows. Um, these are bouquets that she created and she made. Um, these are just little details. Also, the people that are at the wedding, you want to get images of them. Try to get those candid shots. Those candid shots are the ones they're going to remember forever. I promise you. Number eight, dress like you're going to a wedding. I'll just say this briefly. Please don't be a slouch and be a bum. Put on some nice, decent clothes. Number nine, pace yourself and shoot strategically. You don't want to be shooting all over the place and just not paying attention. Scott here was making sure that he was strategically shooting and that he was getting his, um, getting his shots lined up just right. Number 10, get a shot of the cool kid, especially if it's the bride's son laughing out loud. Yes, primarily because these are her sons and he was a cool kid. He was the ring baron in the wedding and I'm telling you, this goes a long way with your bride. Now back to me. Guys, I hope those tips right there help you out and get you on your way so that when you get ready to go and shoot a wedding, you won't be caught off guard because I'm gonna tell you there's a lot of brides out there that you can really, really tick off if you're not careful. Other than that, shoot, shoot smartly, get out there, Get those cameras um, soaring or shooting or whatever you're doing with your camera because guess what? The weather is great. It's great where I am. So guess what? Get out, get a model, find a wedding, get booked, go somewhere. But whatever you do, have fun with photography. Other than that, guys, as I always say, God bless you. See you real soon. Remember, if you can't say anything nice to anyone or do anything nice for anybody, do what? Stick a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. God bless. Talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.